Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Oh, hello, hello. How's it going? Good evening, teacher. Yeah. How are you doing? Good. Careful. All right. A lot of work. I have a lot of work. I have a lot of work, Armando. Yeah. So, but you are talking about the English course, or you're talking about your job? Uh, yes, I'm. I just uh, here. All right. Really good. I can. Ah, so you are working now, Armando? Yes. My goodness. Now, can you listen to me clearly? Sí, se escucha. All right, good. Good evening, Ana Graciela, Nelson, Elsa, Aníbal, Imelda. I have Jamilet, Armando, Gloricia, Romel. Hello, hello, Cecia. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Good evening, Blanca. Hello. Okay, Marisol is there also, and wow, fantastic. Well, I'm really happy to see you here. I have uh, 14 people. Okay, give me a second. Okay, now, yes, we're going to start now. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Well, 13 people and still uh, counting. I hope uh, everybody can gather tonight, and I hope that you could that you could work in the platform. Okay, I hope everybody could solve the the activities in the platform. I will check it on this coming this coming uh, Friday. I will check it this coming Friday. You know, uh, this uh, week we have the midterm. Is that right? You know we are we are having the midterm, the exam, the midterm exam. Okay, so that's for this week. So we're gonna study that information this coming Thursday. Okay, so today is Tuesday. Tomorrow we are gonna have uh, normal classes. Okay, regular classes. But the day after tomorrow we are gonna solve the the midterm exam. So. I would really appreciate you work in the platform. You continue working there. That's important for me and for you. For you, especially because you need to, to, to practice, right? What we studied in a class. So yesterday I told you to uh, memorize some vocabulary related to uh, places in town. I will ask some of you, uh, for example, Aníbal, tell me the words that you were like practicing yesterday. The vocabulary we we start we started yesterday. Close compass. Uh huh. Uh, next paper. Okay, you have two. Put ten. Uh huh. Classroom. Okay, four. Grandmother. Five. Birthday. Six. Um, bathroom seven keyboard eight policeman nine somber teen sunburn all right thank have you okay tell me the other one eleven mm, solo yes okay ten so right okay very good tell me the vocabulary you have learned blanca Cualquiera. Yeah. Ten. Ten would be enough. Enough. Ten words. Eh, news, newspaper. Newspaper. Classroom. Classroom. Okay, two. Grandmother. Three. Chap este, baker. Four. Eh, 
dining room. Five dining room, right? Credit card. Uh, six. Mm. Solar, solar power. No sé cómo se Solar power. Seven. Power. Eh, Caribou Eight mm, Milk Milk Schools No sé cómo <laughs> Near School Near School Middle School eh, uh, Middle School, all right Middle School Middle yeah, School eight. Eh Golf, 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 ball. Nine. Mm. Eh, stop seeing. And ten. All right. So ten you were saying. Let me see what, well, let me see. Very, but in a very quick way, people, ten words, ten words that you will never forget. From basic English, number three, Ana Graciela. Um, a stop sign. Stop sign. Good. Two. Two prime. Three. Classroom. Four. Newspaper, five. Six. Six seven. Radio, eight. Keyboard, nine. Policeman. Excellent. Very good. Great pronunciation, Ana Cargo, Graciela. Waterfall. Excellent. Roller coaster, dining room, car, middle chores, bus pass. Okay, very good. A lot of Solar vocabulary, power. right? Fire alarm. Oh, okay, Fire excellent. <laughs> okay, let me see. Ten, only ten words, for, uh, Wilfredo. Pronunciation, please. Uh, bathroom, keyboard, two, uh, soundbar, three, waterfall, four, um, security guard, five, baseball, six, news, newspaper, seven, birthday, eight, uh, grandmother, nine, keyboard, and ten. All right, I think it's enough, right? Excellent. So, well, later we're going to continue uh, practicing about that vocabulary. But tonight, well, I can see Rommel. Okay, I got the message, Rommel. Thank you for letting me know about it. I got it. I will check list attendance, people. I have uh, 18 people connected. And I will check list attendance. Then we're going to go over the activities themselves okay so i have for example ana graciela present teacher uh, jeremy anderson armando antonio present teacher blanca stephanie present teacher uh, carlos aníbal i'm here Cecia uh, Jimena, a uh, Jimena, sorry. Cecia, sorry, they're good. Diana Patricia. Diana, are you there? Elmer Alexander. Elmer. Uh, Elsa Noelia. Present. Good. Uh, Floricia. Present, teacher. Ingrid Esmeralda. Present teacher. Jaime Iván. Karina Jamilet. Karina Jamilet. Present teacher. Okay. Carla Gabriela. García de uh, Avendaño. Kenny Guadalupe. Present. Ok, María Imelda. Present. María Wendy. I'm here, teacher. Marisol de Los Ángeles. 
Present teacher. Nelson Rutilio. Present teacher. Romeo. Present teacher. Ronald Alexander. Present teacher. Wilfredo. I'm here, teacher. Excellent. Pretty good. Good to see you here. Now, later, we check list attendance a second time. Now, welcome, welcome back. Well, I will try to have some review about what we started yesterday. Okay, so you're gonna tell me about vocabulary. Then we're gonna see the information that's in the platform. Uh, I consider it's, it's quite important to see the info there and also the information in the PDF. Uh, but let us see, let us try to, to share the following information. Here we go. Now, uh, there, yesterday we were practicing some vocabulary, right? Vocabulary such as, do you remember uh, the way to pronounce this word? Aspirin. 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 This one? Bread. 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 A dictionary. A dictionary. A dictionary. Gasoline. 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 A sandwich. A sandwich. A sandwich. sandwich. This one? A stamp. A stamp. A sweet shirt. Sweat. A shirt. Sweat. You know, sweat. Sweat. And? Check. 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 All right. So then we, we were like studying like uh, this. A bank. A bank. A bank. A bank. All right. That's a bank. This one? A drugstore. A drugstore. Or pharmacy, right? This one? A post office. A gas station. With this, with this one, I will teach you the following. When you say, when you have this, when you have S over here, and then you have S again, then you pronounce it like one S. So you don't say a gas station. No, you say gas station. Gas station. Yeah, a gas station. 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 Gas station. Yeah. A gas station. Now this one. A restaurant. A restaurant. A bookstore. A bookstore. A department. A department store. A supermarket. Now, question. Uh, what can do, what can we do in a bank? Um, I mean, what can we do in a bank? Traveler check. Traveler check. Traveler check. All right, very good. What can we do? Uh, oh, where? What do we do? Uh, uh, what do? Why do we go to the pharmacy? To buy aspirin. And you. To buy. To buy. I had to buy aspirin. Buy aspirin. 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 Okay, aspirin. in order to buy some aspirin, some medicine. What about the post office? Why do we go to the post office? Or what is the what is the purpose for going to the post office? Stamps. To get some stamps. Okay. Stamps. To get some stamps, okay. Why do we go to the gas station? Buy a gas. Gasoline. Ah, gasoline. to buy gasoline and for the mm. tank, right? Why do we go to a restaurant? A sandwich. <laughs> okay. Meat. We can get a sandwich there, right? Sandwich. Excellent. We can get a sandwich. Do you remember about what we started yesterday? Why do we go to the bookstore? Uh, dictionary? A, dic a dictionary. Uh, we can buy a dictionary. Why do we go to the bar to the department store? A sweet. To buy a sweet A sweet And why do we go to the supermarket? To buy the food. To buy food. Okay, so that was what what we studied yesterday, right? So well, um, well, I, we're gonna pause this part. We're gonna go over the platform, and you know, the topic that we are facing tonight is preposition of place. Prepositions of place. Okay. So, but before getting to the topic, let me tell you that at the end of this session. 
you're gonna learn prepositions of place in order to give directions. That's what we're looking for. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is just in a real life setting. All right. Now that we are clear about the topic and about the, po hey, what's going on? About the topic and also about, about the purpose or the goal, we're going to see the following video. Uh, pay attention because we're going to discover about the prepositions that can be useful whenever we give directions. Okay, now we saw vocabulary such as the church, the school, the trucks, or the pharmacy, um, the park, um, et cetera, et cetera. So we have a lot of, lot of places in the city. Okay. So, but now we're going to try to learn how to give directions, okay, to somebody. Okay? Listen, listen. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn prepositions of place in order to give directions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real-life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation. Listen title. to the conversation because later you're going to repeat. Let's listen and practice. Excuse me, can you help me? Uh -huh. What is the question, people? <coughs> Excuse me, can you help me? Can you help me? Excuse me, can you help me? Can you help me? Listen. Can you help me? Yeah, Excuse listen to me, the next. Can one. you help me? Good. Excuse me, can you help me? Good. Now, look at the next. Is there a public restroom around here? Uh -huh. What did you listen to? Is there a public, Is there there a public, public restroom, restroom, restroom around here? Hey, is there a, is there a public restroom around here? Around here? Listen. A public restroom? Hmm. Uh -huh. What did you listen to? A public restroom. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't think so. I don't think so. Listen to the next one. Oh no. My son needs a restroom. Uh huh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. My son needs a restroom. Oh no. My son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Uh huh. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Then. Where on Main Street? Uh huh. Where, where, where on, on Main Street? Street? Where, where on Main Street? Where on Main, Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. It's on the corner it's of Main and Avenue. It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yeah. Uh-huh. On the corner, on the corner of, of Main. Main. Corner of Main. Main and First? And First? Yes, it's across from the park. Yes, it's, it's yeah. across from the park. across from the park. Okay. You can't miss it. 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 Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Okay, I need Thanks only two lot. two volunteers. Okay, Diana, I saw I saw your message. Welcome, Diana. Welcome to the class. Now I need to. Thank you, teacher. Okay, I have Elsa Noelia in. Me, teacher. And also, okay, raise your hand if you want to participate. And also, Wilfredo. Wilfredo, okay. right? Yes. Okay, the Wilfredo, you start, and then Elsa, you continue. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? 
A public restroom? Mm, I'm sorry. I don't think so. Oh, no. My son needs a restroom. Well, there is a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of the Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First. Yes, it is. Across from the park, you can you can miss it. Thanks a lot. Fantastic. Excellent, people. I really like the way you, you read the information. Good pronunciation. Okay, two people more and it will be it, it will be done. Dos personas más y cerramos con el ejercicio. Armando, very good. And another person. And Diana, okay. Armando, Diana. Okay. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A, a public restroom? Mm, I'm sorry, I, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main uh, and First? Yes, it is across from the park. You can miss it. Thanks a lot. Fantastic. Pretty good. Now, I saw somebody else like Ingrid, if I'm not mistaken. If you want to participate, you can do it. But if there are no more participants, we can continue. No more? I... So that's our man, no, our Aníbal, right? Yes. Okay, Aníbal in. And now, yes, yes Imelda, okay. Now you start, Aníbal. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom? All right. A public restroom? Mm, I am sorry. I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a red a red room. Well, there there's a red room in the par department store on Main Street. Where Main Street? It's on the corner of my um, Fifth Avenue. New. Oh, the corner of Main and Third. Yes, it, it's across from the park. You can, you can't miss it. Thanks a lot. You can miss it, right? You can miss it. Thanks a lot. Pretty good. Thank you, people. Now, thank you, Imelda and company. Now, let me see. There is somebody in the chat. No, you don't listen to me, Graciela? Uh, it's because it's raining a lot there. Okay, I will try to, to speak clearer. Okay, now pay attention to the, the, now, the information I'd that's like coming. I'd like to talk about prepositions of place. Let's practice the following prepositions and phrases. On. On the corner of. On, on the corner of. Across from. Across from. Next to. Next to, repeat. Between. 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 The it. department store is on Main Street. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and Main First. It's on the corner of Main Street. It's across from the park. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. It's across from the park. It's, it's next to the bank. The bank is between the, the department store the and, the the and the restaurant. The 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 Let's take a look at our map now. And let me point. It's across from the park. Now, before continuing, look at the information here, right? So you see, son, it's on what? It's on Main Street, right? So Main Street is so here. It's on Main Street. It's on Main Street. And the second one we have, it's on the corner. You know the corner, right? It's on the corner. Now, across, you know across. It's across. 
Okay. Next to is next to. Just next to it. Between. No, between one and between two. Okay, so that's why we have the, the department stores on the main street. The department stores on the main street. It's next to the bank. It's next to the bank. It's on the corner of main and first. Main and first. And the bank is between the department. The bank is between the department. That's over here. It's between. It's between. It's a crowd from the park. Okay, this is the part. It's a crowd from the park. Store and the restaurant. Okay, so let us continue listening to the information. Keep it, keep it in mind, please, because this is very important. Later, we're going to see like extra information about um, prepositions of place. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. Let's take a look at our map now. And let me point out the locations mentioned. The department store. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. Take a look at it. It's next to the bank. Next to the bank, right? The bank is between the department store. The department store. And the restaurant. And the restaurant. On the images, you can see the meaning of each preposition. Uh-huh. You got the meaning, right? Let's so we discussed about the it. the preposition on. On. We will use the preposition on Listen. to make reference that a place is on a particular street. On a particular if street. If we take a look at the map on the screen, I'll make more examples using the preposition on. on. Gus gas station. The gas station Gus is? gas station is on First Avenue. It's on First the Avenue. The U.S. Post Office. The post U.S. Office? Post Office is on Center Street. Second, oh, okay, Let's so talk second about three. the preposition on the corner of. If we analyze our example, on the, the corner? department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. Okay, uh, the avenue over here. Now let me give a and the Main of Street other examples. Using and this on is the on the corner of. of the movie theater. Movie theater is on the corner of Park Street. Park Street. And Main Street. And Main Street. Far Street. The supermarket and Main Street. is supermarket. On the Where is of it? Main Street. Main Street. And Second and Avenue. The Second Avenue. Let's move on with the preposition next to. Next to. Our example shows the department store is next to the bank. We could also say Maria's restaurant is next to the bank. Finally, the preposition between. As you can see on this map, the bank is between the department store and Maria's restaurant. The department store and Maria's restaurant. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to give the location of all the places on this map. Okay. For example, try to answer the following questions using prepositions. Where is Gus gas station? Where's the gas station? Where is the hospital? Where's the hospital? Where is the U.S. Post Office? Where's the U.S. Post Where Office? Where is Second Avenue Bookstore? Where's the Second Where Avenue Bookstore? Drugstore. Okay, so then well. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Now you are gonna tell me where is the drugstore. Okay, Kenny, I got it, Kenny. Hopefully, you are not going to have any problem. Uh, where is the, the gas station? Where is... Now, let, let me see. Well, I think it's better if we see the, the PDF, right? And with, yeah, I think it's better. Let's see. It's because, you know, we have the conversation over here, right? 
CC in conversation. We have, well, this is info uh, related to what we studied yesterday uh, regarding to the pronunciation. And now here we have the information that's in the video. Okay? It's the same information. And, you know, we have the department store. We have like the, where is the drugstore people? Do you see the drugstore? Can you see the drugstore? The drugstore, where is the drugstore? It's on 2nd Avenue. It's on 2nd Avenue. And Center Street. It's on the corner. In the corner. Up. Yeah, it's on the corner of 2nd Avenue and Center Street. Is that right? Is that right? Now, where is, for example, let me see if I, if I get it. Where is the parking lot? On First Avenue. It's on the first. It's on the First Avenue on the left. On the left. Okay, you know. On the left, it's on the left, all right? It's on, on First Avenue of... on the left. Now, where is the theater, people? In Main Street? It's on Main Street. It's on the corner of? Corner of Park Street. Park Street in Park Street. And Main Street, right? Excellent. Good. So, well, little by little, people, you're going to get, like, more familiarized with it. And, uh, well, you're going to complete this later by your own. Okay. And, well, I will try to to, to let you know about this, this, these questions, right? So, these are very, very wonderful questions that we can uh, ask whenever we want to know about a, a place. A directions in English. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? So this is the first. How do I get? How do I get to walk up or go up Fifth Avenue? Turn left on 49th Street. It's on the right. How can I get to Bryant Park? Walk down, go down Fifth Avenue. Turn right on 42nd Street and it's on your left. Okay? So, well, but, but listen, give me one second because I have some more vocabulary over here. And also I have some exercises that we need to put into practice. Now, I have... Like, you know, we're talking about prepositions of place. And we're talking about giving directions. Direction. Giving directions, right? So giving directions. Yeah. So we're going to see vocabulary. There are some uh, prepositions of place that we need, to, we need to be aware of, such as between. By, by, on, 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 at, 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 in, at, under, on, on, in, in. Okay, so those are prepositions of place. We have more. Don't worry because we have more of them. We have some prepositions of directions. Okay. So these prepositions are after, after around, around, inside, along, across, down, across, once again, into, from, etc. Right? So we have a lot of uh, prepositions to provide or to keep directions. Now, this is important, okay? Let me see, maybe we can see it clearer. So in this one, or in this one, we have in. In is used or often used to describe 
confined region. The keys are in the car. Where are the keys? Um, Where are the yeah, keys? Yeah. In uh, the, car. the keys in are the car. in the car. In, in the car. In the, in the car. car. Now, then we have at, often used to address a specific topic. They welcome us at the door. 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 Then we have the door. on. And it says the on often used to show whenever something touches anything. Put my phone on the desk. Put my phone on the desk. On the desk. On the desk. Yeah, on the desk. So we have more. On Add desk. on a box. Grading in comparison to a different thing. The box is above the book. Above. What is above? Above the book. Sobre. Yeah, what is about? What is about? What is Sobre. about? Ah? Sobre. Excellent. Very good. So that's about. Thank you, Armando. Thank What's you, Armando. On? Pretty good. Now, okay. what is over? Ver. Often used okay. to indicate that anything is about. Uh huh. Okay. So we got about once the, again, uh, right? Then let's over. see. Yeah, it's 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 like that. Under, under. my dog sleeps under my bed. Under, under below. Below. Okay, now listen. I will share the link so that we can like uh try to try to study the this vocabulary. We will share the link. Oops, what happened to the link? Hmm. Now yes. I will share it so that you can study the information. Okay, Maria Wendy. I, uh, I don't know, but maybe it's raining there. Hopefully, uh, just you can listen to me clearly. Okay, so we have below to from into out of to through, across, beside, in front of, behind, towards, by, okay? So do me the favor to memorize these prepositions, okay? Hay que memorizarse esas preposiciones, okay? So uh, that's why I share the link. Por eso les compartí el enlace. Now, pay attention because... Then we have the following. Let me see prepositions of place. We're gonna see the knowledge check. In the knowledge check, I think we have a preposition. I mean, a, an exercise. It's a listening. We have like, where are they going? Where are they going? Well, we have department store, the city bank, Davis Drug Store. So it's 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 the actually the the same map we saw right so minutes ago. So we're gonna we're gonna I will play the track, listen to it carefully. Where are they going? Where are they going? Where are they going? Where are they going? In the number four, so you need to you need to identify. In the number one, where are they going? Maybe to love the farm and start. We don't know. It all depends on the origin. Here we go. Pay attention, please. Oops. Uh oh. Okay, now yes. The knowledge check. Pay attention. Number one. Page 89. Exercise six. Listening. Where is it? Look at the map in exercise five. Listen to four conversations. Where are the people going? Where are they going? One. Number one. Hmm. I think it's on Main Street. Is it near the Regency movie theater? Yes, it is. 
It's right across from the movie theater. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a restaurant there. Right. It's between the restaurant and Luff's department store. Number two. Where are they going? Two. Is it near Maria's restaurant? Yes, it is. It's on 2nd Avenue next to the supermarket. P&J supermarket? Yes. It's on 2nd Avenue between Main and Center. Okay. Thank you very much. Number three. Three. Where is it? Well, it's near the movie theater. So it's on Park Street? No, it's on Main Street, next to the bank. Is it on the corner of Main and 2nd? Yes, it is. It's across from the supermarket. Thanks. And at number four. Four. Is it near the bookstore? No, it isn't. It's on 2nd Avenue across from the movie theater. On the corner of Main and 2nd Avenue? Yes, that's right. It's next to Al's coffee shop. Okay, thanks. Okay, thanks. Okay, now let me know about, about it. Okay, where are they going in the first conversation? The bank. The bank. They are going the to the bank. The bank. Where are they going the in the second one? They be drugstore. They be drugstore. Drugstore. Where are they going in the number three? Maria's restaurant. Maria's restaurant. Maria's restaurant. Where are they going in the number four? Favorite shoes. Favorite shoes. Favorite shoes. Favorite shoes. To get uh, to to their favorite shoes. Now we're gonna see the answer. Good. Okay, where are they going? They are going to the bank. Where are they going in the number two? Where well, they are they are going to Davies drugstore. Where are they going in the number three? They are going to Maria's restaurant and the number four. Where are they going? Favorite shoes. Yeah, pretty good. Now, now what that we solve this part, okay. So remember that we are talking about prepositions of place, okay? Then we need to we need to practice a conversation here. I think I got, but before getting to that part, let us try to solve like these exercises. I have like two of them and they, I think it will be enough. So we share the link, the first links so that you can work over it. Remember to check the chat very frequently. That's the first one. And this is the second one. So that you can you can practice by your own also after the class, of course. So in the first, we have like some vocabulary. Okay. And like, for example, there is a bank on King Street. True or false? Look at it. It's true. True. True? True. The petrol yeah, station is that. near the library. False. False? False. There is a supermarket a next to the hospital. True. True. It's true. true. Okay. True. The museum is between the library and the train station. True. 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 Yeah. True. 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 The park is opposite to the bank. False. Uh, the bakery is bakery. between the... The bakery is between the car park and the petrol station. True. 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 Yeah. True. Uh, there is a restaurant on Cardiff uh -huh. Road. Cardiff Road. There is a restaurant? Um, false. 
parts. Falls. We're almost done. Yeah. The airport is near the train it's station. Near the train station. The airport is near the train station. True. 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 Okay, so and there is a jewelry next to the park. Jewelry. True. True, right? Well, true. There's a jewelry. True. And the last one, the museum is opposite to the library. It's true. The museum is opposite to the library. False. False. So let's check. Wow, you did it hundred percent. Very good. Pretty good. Pretty good. That's what. Good job. Gonna... Yeah, great job. <laughs> great job. Okay, so we're gonna try to solve this one, which is the last one. Mm. And over here, sis. Uh, directions, asking and giving directions. Okay, we are gonna listen to, and you see we have numbers on here. Number 15, number 14, number six, number five, number four, number three, number two, number one, the castle, right? Number eight, number seven, 13, 12, 11, and 10. So listen to the first one. Excuse me. Do you know where can I find a supermarket? Go straight on. It's over there. On your left. Past the shoe shop. Uh-huh. What, which number? Five. Number five? Five. So this is the one? Yes. Okay, so yeah. number, five, say number five, number five. So number five, right? Post office. Pay attention, the post office. Can you tell me the way to the post office? Take the first turning on the right. It's next to the church. Post office. Uh, next to the post office. Post office. Yeah. Eight. Number eight. Post office over here. Listen. The number three, car park. Car park. Excuse me. Is there a car park near here? Go straight on. Walk past the church. It's the first building on your right. Opposite the museum. Uh-huh. Number? 13. 13. 13. Okay. 13. You say 13, right? 13. Train station. Where is the train station? Turn right and walk along Castle Street. It's between the park and the castle. Number? Number two. Repeat the audio. Uh, once again, once again. Where is the train station? Turn right and walk along Castle Street. It's between the park and the castle. Uh -huh. Number two. Number two. Two. Number two. two. Right? Number two. two. Number two. Uh, chemist, listen. Could you tell me how to get to the chemist, please? Walk along this road. It's on your left, past the hospital. Chemist? 14. 14. 14. 14. So the game is, is over here. Well, yes. we're going to check it later. Now, the hotel. Can you tell me where the Princess Hotel is, please? Take the first turning on the right. It's opposite the castle. Number nine. Number, Number nine. nine. Opposite to the castle. Well, Say number nine, number nine. That's a hotel, right? Mm -hmm. And a restaurant. Is there a restaurant near here? Go straight on and take the second turning on the right. And then turn left into Newton Street. It's next to the petrol station. Mm -hmm. 
Eleven. Eleven. That's eleven. Eleven. So we're gonna check it. Wow, people, you're mm. very smart. You are two, two. Right. You got <laughs> two teams tonight. That was great fantastic. Group. A great group. Yeah. Okay, now pay attention because we still need to go over some info here oh i'm sorry to know about it blanca i hope you you can stay connected in the class well let me see about the time where well, we're missing like seven minutes you know uh for tomorrow just before before leaving and before finishing this uh, well you're gonna try to memorize this hay que tratar de memorizarse esta conversación de la página 89. Ok. Para eh, estar practicando. Se van a aprender todo. Torres, excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do I get to Street Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up Fifth Avenue and 50th Street. Street Patrick's is on, your, on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from the Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the State Building? Is it far from here? It's, it's right building. behind it's right. you. Behind Just you. turn around and look up. Okay, so that's homework for tomorrow. This is homework for tomorrow. Page number 89. Well, Meanwhile, a checklist attendance, do me the favor to work in the platform. Mientras eh, paso asistencia, hágame el favor de trabajar en la plataforma, en, la, en la, el ejercicio eh, 3.7. All right, so I will check Lisa Tinez. Ana Graciela. Present teacher. Anderson Jeremy. Armando Antonio. I'm here teacher. Blanca Stephanie. Carlos Aníbal. Cecia. I'm here teacher, Aníbal. Aníbal, right? Cecia Gemina. Here. Diana Patricia. I'm Diana... here, teacher. Okay, Diana Patricia is here now. Eh, Elmer Alexander. Elsa Noelia. Present. Eh, Floricia. I'm here, teacher. Ingrid Esmeralda. Present, teacher. Jaime Iván. Yeah, I am here, teacher. Karina Jamilet. Present, teacher. Carla Gabriela. Carla Gabriela. Kini Guadalupe. Present, teacher. Maria Imelda. Present, teacher. Maria Wendy. I'm here, teacher. Marisol de Los Angeles. Present, teacher. Nelson Rutilio. Present teacher. Rommel. Present teacher. Ronald. Present teacher. Wilfredo. Pretty good. Uh, three people missed class tonight. Present. Okay. Now, mm, I already shared the information there. And let me see. Blanca Stefan says present. Give me a second, Blanca. Okay, Blanca Stefan. It's all right. So now listen, we still have like five minutes, really good. If you want to talk a little about what's what's happening in the class. Okay, um lo voy a cambiar un ratito al español. Creo que ustedes se han adecuado muy bien a las sesiones. Porque si ustedes se dan cuenta, pues prácticamente solo inglés les hablo. 
por ahí estaba viendo en, en el WhatsApp algunos comentarios de que pues algunas veces no comprenden todo y es lógico, ¿ok? Recuérdense que estamos en el básico 3, todavía ni siquiera hemos avanzado a un intermedio. Entonces, si ustedes no comprenden todo, no se preocupen, porque esto es un proceso, ¿ok? No es que hoy estoy en básico 1, mañana en básico 2 y ya entiendo todo, escribo todo, leo todo, ya traduzco todo. Tomo... No, esto es poco a poco. Pero ¿saben qué es lo bonito de los cursos? Es que es un aprendizaje continuo que uh, si ustedes se mantienen pegados a él, eh, practicando, haciendo las actividades... Eh, pues tarde o temprano ustedes van a, a estar hablando inglés full English, a estar escribiendo inglés, a estar eh, escuchando inglés y entendiéndolo, pero como les repito, es un proceso no es eh, no es algo tan rápido como todos nosotros quisiésemos ¿verdad? a algunos les va a tomar más tiempo a otros les va a tomar menos tiempo pero lo importante es que nos mantengamos practicando, ¿ok? Por ahí les dejé unos enlaces que espero que les sirva y que, lo, y que pongan en práctica lo que acá se les enseña. Um, ya saben que les queda una tarea. La tarea es aprenderse la conversación, ¿ok? Para que de alguna manera se mantengan pegados al idioma. Sé que muchos trabajan, pero eh, igual, hay que buscar un espacio como para practicar el segundo idioma. No sé si hay comentarios, preguntas. Eh, teacher. Ah, eso es otro, miren, lo que nos dice Kenny por ahí dice, teacher, yo entiendo mucho cuando me hablan, pero cuando yo quiero responder no puedo. Ok, es lo mismo. ¿Verdad? Porque es un proceso. Eh, yo al inicio les mostré que hay cuatro, cuatro destrezas del idioma. Listening, speaking, reading, and writing. Y si ustedes se dan cuenta, casi los 60 minutos gastamos y ustedes están expuestos al idioma. O sea, se aprovecha el tiempo. Aunque no entendamos todo, pero en nuestro oído se está familiarizando, se está adecuando um, o acostumbrando a estar en contacto con el segundo idioma. Y por eso es que yo siempre voy a recomendarles que se mantengan aprendiendo vocabulario, ¿de acuerdo? Vocabulario, expresiones nuevas, eh, frases nuevas, verbos nuevos. Hay tanto que aprender y ahora pues, gracias a Dios, con esto de internet se nos hace mucho más fácil, ¿verdad? Así que no sé si hay preguntas. Esta semana... Tienen el midterm, que es el examen de, a medio curso, y lo vamos a desarrollar acá. Ustedes, por favor, háganlo. Eh, ahorita tenemos, ok, sería mañana, tendría que estar listo ese examen. Terminarlo, ¿verdad? Mañana hay que terminar ese examen para que el día jueves solo hagamos un repaso. Si no hay preguntas, pues nos vamos a quedar por acá. Y nos vemos el día de mañana. All right. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. 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 Good Y vino la luz. Ya llegó. Ya <risa> me vino, estaba llorando, está lloviendo, pero es una calor que ustedes no me imaginan. Para mañana la conversación. Ya me imaginaba que iba a dormir así como la, el sticker que mandó Noelia. <risa> Nada más, si censurado por Bayunco, nada más.